Whole Vinyl community and anyone else watching this. I'm back with sort of part two of my recent finds. The first video was just more common stuff, stuff to fill in gaps and holes in my collection. And this one is going to be a bit more on the garage side and on the rock and roll side. Hope everybody out there is doing well. I've only got 20 minutes to do this video, so I'm just going to get started with a couple of 10 inches. The Whalers do not release, which is um, <laughs> stuff that somebody wasn't supposed to release. Um, it's on Olympia Records. It's got um, three songs on each side, Live Wire, I Got You, Hang Up. Um, I love the Whalers, really just good garage rock. The label just says, please do not release. So, very cool there. And I have no idea what to expect from this. The Wild Oats, the Oki P on Big Beat. These guys were a British beat band um, a little bit before the Beatles. At least before the Beatles hit, around between 61 and 63, something like that. Um, but these are 564 to 65 recordings on here, but I think there's earlier stuff as well. Um, so, and it's, it's, you can't judge a book by, your, by its cover, Walking the Dog, all of that kind of, Route 66, all that kind of stuff that all those bands sort of did. So I'm looking forward to this. This is actually supposed to be pretty good. Um. And weirdly, I just saw online an original single from this with the same cover shot. The Wild Oats. Randy, Deadwax 66 just showed this yesterday. And I wrote in the comments that, you know, I got it from the UK and I'm waiting to get it, check my mail, and there it was. Um, and they sent, I, I, I got it from the UK to get two albums at the same time. And they sent them in two different boxes, apparently, because I did not get the other one yet. <laughs> um, weirdly, they have free shipping, so they can do what they want. But, weirdly, um, this is a Summer of Love release. It's got a lot of different mixes of some songs that we know and a lot of songs that we don't know. All garage, sort of, Summer of the 60s kind of stuff. And, um... Check out Randy's video, Deadwax66. His is opened, and um, he shows it off to really good effect. There's, there's a, the cover is sort of, you can't even be able to see it on mine. It, it's, it's, some of it's glossy, some of it's not, back and front, which makes it look really cool. This is on transparent vinyl. Again, check Randy's video out, um, and uh, he will go into way more detail than I can but very happy to finally get this and um, wondering where my other record is <laughs> um, the best of Les Sultans um, garage band rock from France um, got that from Bomp next couple I got from Bomp it's on Dis Du Monde is the label and um, just Wolf French Garage. Again, haven't heard any of this yet, unfortunately. This, I did play a track or two online and I really liked it. But, I bought it because it was really cheap and it was 10% off. So, this is like well under 5 bucks. It's Prima Donna. Um, and I can't even read the title. Nine Lives and 45s. But, I, what I didn't know is the one of that they had, and it's autographed. <laughs> There's your track listing. It's autographed, and it's on yellow vinyl. You can kind of see right there. Um, so, very, very cool. This thing is <laughs> autographed. How often can you get an autographed record for under five bucks? Lost Mockers, original recording, 65 to 67, Mexican um, Garage. Lost Impossibles, I was in a mood. <laughs> More Mexican Garage. 
The legendary Invisible Men, come get some. I don't remember anything about this except I listened to a couple tracks online. Again, it was really cheap and um, it's on Dionysus and that's about all I can tell you about this one. And these guys I looked up and I loved. And they're on White Whale. Or what whale? I didn't think they're on White Whale. They're on the, a 90's band I believe. The Fevers. Love Always Wins. And um, these guys are just great kind of power poppy. A little bit of garage and quite a bit of garage influence actually. And a really raspy vocal that I like. Just really good band. So I grabbed that one. And Travis Gavin and Brian the Fevers. Gandar Wa De Mejun. They're they're from the Netherlands. Did I mention that? I didn't. So there you go. Garage rock pop style from the Netherlands. The Fiends, Grave Digger, another one I got really cheap, listened to some of it, really liked it. You, you, you can almost imagine what this sounds like without even hearing it. And it sounds exactly like you'd expect. Creatures of the Golden Dawn, Dark Was the Night, Cold Was the Ground, got this really cheap too. Little Steven used to play the heck out of this album on his uh, Underground Garage show when it came out. So very happy to find this really really cheap these guys are very stoned influenced hard rock and garage i've been wanting this for a long time just to check it out but i have not played it yet the iguanas which of course is iggy pop's first band that's iggy right there iggy was the drummer for this band and um finally have this Action, question mark, and the Mysterians. I don't know what album this is. Second or third, maybe. Reissue on Cameo. Oh, it's the second album, so it's right on the front. 180 grab. Mastered on 45. Pretty cool. This I definitely wanted. Um, Love. The 50th anniversary of their first album. Released on Rhino's Summer of Love series in mono, which is why I wanted the original mono mix back on Rhino Records. Of course, Arthur Lee and Company. My Little Red Book is on that one. And I do not have this on any form, so very happy to pick this up too. Velvet Underground Loaded. This is their Rocktober edition. Rhino recently put out for Rocktober. And um, this is on yellow golden vinyl. So that should be very, very cool. Of course, Sweet Jane Rock and Roll is on this. And you got to know who the valve on the ground is. Come on, Lou Reed. Jack Hale. You know. A couple things I picked up really, really, really cheaply. Quicksilver Messenger Service. Fillmore Auditorium. 5th of what? November 5th. Almost coming up on an anniversary, 1966, two record set. Picked this up really, really cheap. As I did this, Quicksilver Messenger Service live in San Jose, 1966. So I want to check out these live performances, just the quality and just to see what was going on in 1966 in the scene. I was really happy to find this. The Zodiac, Cosmic Sounds. A lot of people have been showing this lately. It has been reissued on translucent vinyl. I picked up an original on Electra Records. Um, it is a stereo copy. I think it's an original. Um, I got a decent price on it. I'm thinking it's an original because it has the original Electra sleeve. And the golden... Electra label. So really, really happy to find that. And it was weird because I was looking at the reissues and uh, found this one in really nice shape. It, about half the price of the reissue. So I uh, jumped on it very happily. So
Screaming Lord Such. He made a couple of albums. And um, from everything I've heard, this is the better. But um, he used to get a lot of friends on here um, to, to do the music. I don't know if anybody good is on this one. I know on the first one, this is the second one, I think. The first one had lots of people. Now, this is an H reissue from some point in time. I don't know when. Check out Screaming Lord Such if you don't know who it is. The Monkey's Headquarters, the Sunday's three issue. I always pick these up when I see them because they have bonus tracks. They're not exactly the same album. This one has The Girl I Knew Somewhere and All of Your Toys on it as bonus tracks. Again, put out by Sunday's. And um, I think in mono. Just because they use the LP instead of SLP. The Milkshakes, 20 rock and roll hits of the 50s, 60s, just loud, dirty, distorted noise out of the Milkshakes. There's your track listing. Hornflake Zoo, I've been wanting to know about these Particles LPs, so I finally picked one up. This is volume one of their episode one of whatever series they're calling it. And it should be on colored vinyl, and it's a lot of, I think, more pop psych than psych is going to be on this. You can't see anything there, but um, very cool, and I got it at a decent price. My local record stores had it, but I beat them by five or six bucks on price, so. More comps here. I've been in a, a very garage mood, at least I was, I still kind of am. Trans World Punk Rave Up, Volume 2, Raving 60s Beat and R&B from all over. There's a lot of um, music from around the world coming up here. I just love hearing what other uh, countries were doing. So, same thing. This is Volume 1 of the same series. Guess I should have started with that one. And uh, there's a track listing, not that you can see it. And Never Agles Particulares, French punk anyway, um, French garage rock. I love these um, Rubble series. There's 20 of them. This is Rubble Volume 6. I only have a couple of them in my collection. If you just want to go for one series of sort of pop site garage stuff from the UK, this is the one to go for. Um, these guys do a fantastic job. Teenage Zit Rock Angst. 19 of the best bands of the world. This is... Um, more a recent um, rock from around the world. And there was somebody on here that I think that I wanted to hear. Well, the Subsonics are on here. But there was somebody that I... New Bomb Turks are on here. Teen Generate is on here. Um, interesting comp. I mentioned there's a lot of comps here. Marijuana Unknowns, I think this one speaks for itself, more psych garage rock, uh, more psych on that one. Chris Needs Presence, Dirty Water, The Birth of Punk Attitude, 22 influential tracks across three decades that shaped the punk sound, and basically this is um, everything from early, early standouts and Gene Vincent and Deviants, Pink Fairies and Monks to um, the Saints and uh, New York Dolls are on here. David Peel's even on here. Um, the Hollywood Brats are on here. Really cool punk compilation. And Diamonds, 
Worldwide Hypnotic Dream Psychedelia. I know I got these really cheap, and I got like, there's like three of them just coming up right here. And I know nothing about these. Again, haven't spun any of them yet. There's one. There's volume four right here. I just saw Os Mutantes on here. Again, mostly, you know, not American stuff going on here. And there's volume five. The Poppy Family, though, this one. The Shakers, I like the Shakers, actually. Um, these are, aren't sealed, so I kind of show you labels, but they're just as disjointed as the cover is. <laughs> and Girls Want the Boys, Sweden's Beat Girls, 66 to 70. This kind of stuff is right up my alley. I absolutely love this stuff. I mean, come on, how could you resist that? Just coolness. And it's on colored vinyl of some sort. Ace Records put that out. Girls in the Garage Oriental Special. I love French rock, I love Swedish rock, and I love Oriental, Japanese especially, um, garage rock. Um, I have the Nippon Girls series, and uh, this is more of that kind of stuff. This was a Record Store Day edition. Was that last one? Um, and it should be 180 gram core vinyl. Asian Girl Sounds of the 60s, Volume 9 on this one. And Girls in the Garage. This is volume 10, same sort of deal. I love this kind of stuff. I literally, literally do. So, boy, this is Gaelic Girls. I didn't even notice. So this is French, Irish. And that's it. That's my second update of the day. Sorry I went so fast. Again, don't have much time on my camera. Hope everyone out there is doing well and um, staying warm. And all of that stuff. Thanks for subscribing and watching. And new subscribers, thank you. Old subscribers, thank you. Been checking out as many videos as I can. I wish YouTube would stop changing things. They make it harder and harder. Anyway, check out my podcast, snapcracklepop.podomatic.com, as I said in my last video. Sorry about the sun, and uh, I'll see you soon, hopefully. Take care, everybody. Bye.